Hey everybody, welcome back to Alpha Cave. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're following this journey through all these different stocks. I think we can learn something from each individual stock that we take care of and we invest into here. And today we're going to be talking about AMC. What a nightmare of a stock. It's been tough to deal with. And um, I think you're going to see that as we go through the good years and the bad years here. I'm not a financial consultant. However, this is what I do with these stocks and hopefully it can be educational and you can learn something from it. A couple of things to start off with here is 2021 was about the time that I actually just started to sell puts. I believe on Robinhood, you were able to sell puts, sell calls at that time already. So that's why I was interested in doing this. Uh, I don't think that they had the tabs to roll things out as easy as they do now. I believe that started in 2022 and when I started using that in 2022, that made life a lot easier. Before then, I had to have the cash on hand so that I can actually do these uh, buybacks and then try to sell another put or sell another call. And that's the way I was doing those things at that time. And that put a little strain on me and uh, it made it difficult. And as you'll see, I may have lost some money because of that here. So let's go ahead and start this with the good years. January 4th, 2021 was the first time I actually sold a put on AMC. The stock price was very, very low. It was like a $2 put and it was actually a good stock to learn with. So I figured, okay, this is a perfect stock to learn with. I'm going to sell here at these low prices get better at it before I start moving on to other stocks. And I also bought 100 shares of AMC at $2.05 at that time. So um, I I did good and then I, I turned around right, a, right away and I sold a call at two fifty. So somebody could take those shares at $2.50. Perfect. Well, sometime in March, this stock became a meme stock. The price got crazy and it went way up. In fact, I remember going to sleep one day. The price was normal. The next uh, day in the morning, the price was $25. I was like, oh my God, I have a call on these and I cannot do anything about it. So that made my life miserable there for a while and I figured, I may lose these shares at $2.50 and sure enough, March 19th came around, my shares were called off and they went to $2.50. I think at that time the share price was probably like $75 per share. So I did lose out on a little extra cash I could have made, which could have made all the difference. But we moved on and let me tell you about 2021 now. So in 2021, we actually sold 87 puts. 87 puts is quite a bit. Um, and let me show you each month, more or less, what we made. I'll run it through the screen for you. As you can see, January through April, we actually just started up. Uh, it was about $1,100, $1,200 there that we made. And those few months there, uh, I got my feet wet a little bit. And then I started going from there. From there, in the next four months, is when we started making a lot more profit. 2000 in May, June was 6,500, July 5,500, and August 6,600. September continued as well, 6,600. October and November were low, and then December was 2,703. So total for 2021, we made $32,055. That wasn't bad for only actually purchasing 100 shares at one time and not making that whole profit that I could have made by selling those shares on their own or rolling out the call, which I could not do at that time. Um, so 32,000 was fantastic for year one. So that gave me a lot of confidence moving into 2022. So in 2022, we sold 16 puts. 11 of those puts were actually rolling out puts so that we can decrease the price that we we're going to purchase shares at. So that's all we did in 2022. Didn't buy any shares at all. The profit that year was almost $5,000. So 
So we're there at $37,000 for the first two years. Still, that's fantastic. That's really, really good. But then came 2023. Now, the problems really started back in August of 2022 when Ape Shares started. They put them out. That was a nightmare. Then we all had Ape Shares, and then we had puts and calls that were uh, AMC and AMC1, and it made a big mess. And um, that was when things went downhill, actually. And I think that's why I was rolling out so many puts at that time so that I can. If I had to purchase these shares, I was going to get them at a lower price. But 2023 did come around and I was assigned many shares. And of course, because they had now decreased the shares with a reverse split that they did, uh, we ended up getting less shares than what we would have got, but still paying a high price for them. So in all, we paid $44,467.80. So for the first three years, I was now down, after being up at $37,000, now I was down $74,27.80. So $7,400 down after three years. Um, and I'm still getting more things assigned to me at that point. So I expect in 2024, I'm still going to get more things assigned to me. Now, however, I can start selling calls. And so now I can make back some of that profit um, that I lost. So in total, the 2023 activity I had was one put, nine calls, and I rolled out calls 13 times. In 2024, the only thing I've done is one call, three calls I've been rolling out, and I did one put. And that is all I've done as far as 2024. And my earnings at this time are negative again, 1547.06. So in total, just on the calls and the puts and assignments that I've had, I was down 89.74.86. That's quite a bit to be down, but not too bad. I actually thought it was going to be worse. So I was okay with that. And then taking into consideration the price of the stock at this time and that I do have 700 shares, that was 28.44.05 in price for the 700 shares. So that brings down my total that I've lost to 61.30.81. If I can sell these shares at 12.80, $13 each, I would make back my money with no problems. However, I'm pretty sure that with the 700 shares, I can sell calls throughout the year and make about at least a thousand, depending on how volatile AMC becomes. So if it becomes very volatile, I can make back that money very quickly. If it's not very volatile, then it's going to come back slowly, but at least make back at least a thousand per year uh, with the calls. And then in addition to that, we'll just see what the price does. Hopefully it goes up a little bit and hopefully we make some of that money back a lot faster than what we think. If people start going back to the movies more, which they are now, if the movies are great and people are going out, I think it's going to be fantastic. And I think we're going to do great. So now AMC has become a long, long hold for me. It's going to be a long-term share that I want. Do I really want this one? No, it's not a high quality stock. However, at this point, I think it's here. I think we can do well with it. I'm sure that the price is going to go up at some point. And uh, then we'll see if we ever get rid of it or not later down the road. Well, that's my road through AMC. Uh, it's a bumpy one for sure. It's a bumpy one. However, it's a good one to learn with. I mean, you see that with the volatile stocks, you can make a lot of money. However, when they start doing reverse splits and doing things like that, you're going to lose a lot of money. Uh, we did learn how to roll out calls, roll out puts with this stock quite a bit. And so the, the losses could have been dramatically worse, thousands and thousands worse. But we were able to kind of decrease that by just rolling out the calls, rolling out the puts, decreasing the prices that we were going to buy these stocks at and making some profit on the way. 
I hope that you got something out of this video. If uh, there's any comments you want to put, write them down on the bottom and uh, let us know what you think or let me know if you were in this AMC fiasco as well and how you did. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time with a better stock.